You're watching Ride the Teacup, and we are making Mickey waffles. Woohoo! Everybody. My name's Steve with RideTheTeacups.com and in this video we're going to teach you how to make waffles the easy way and even using our fancy Mickey waffle iron. They make mini Mickey waffles. Love these things. They're absolutely amazing. While we do, make sure that you subscribe to this content. Hit that little red button right down in the corner. That way you can get more videos like these that help you celebrate that Disney magic. And also, be watching for when to smash that like button. We'll tell you when to do it. We'll get everybody to do it all at the same time. And finally, if you want more videos, bonus videos, behind the scenes videos, extra tracks, things like that, consider being a Patreon subscriber. Really helps us out be able to make these videos like this just for you. And you get some cool stuff out of it too. So check it out, patreon.com slash ride the teacups. Now let's get right into making our waffles. Now I need a little bit of help to make some waffles, so I'm going to bring in my little buddy here. Go ahead and get up on the stool. He was very upset that he couldn't help me out with the Monte Cristo sandwiches on the video, so today we're going to fix that and he's going to help me make waffles. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. Alright, so let's get started. It's really simple to make waffles uh, the easy way. This is not the right way or the scratch way. This is the quick and dirty way, and this is how you're going to do it. Two cups of your pancake mix. Two tablespoons of just regular vegetable oil one and a third cups of milk. And you're gonna need one egg. And then for me, I'm going to put a tiny bit of vanilla in mine just to flavor things up. Let's get started. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. Cool. Now the first thing we need to do is get my pancake mix. Awesome job. That was perfect. Yeah, it is a lot, that's right. And then I'm gonna take vegetable oil. I want two tablespoons, so I'm taking one tablespoon and just using it twice. If you're not with me on that math, the one plus one is two math. Just go with it. Cool dude. Woohoo! Can you get an egg for me? Preferably one that's not already cracked open. I need to redeem myself after that last Monte Crisco video, which, by the way, you can check out right up here, and you should because it's delicious and amazing. Uh, I claim to be really good at cracking eggs and then just failed so badly at it. We're going to try this again. I'm bad you're better than me at cracking eggs. Do you want to see me do it? How about we do it together? Is that okay? I'm just tapping on the edge, but I'm slowly that rotating it as we go. You, you used to be crushing. Oh, we're going to slowly open it. And you, look at that. You crushed it. Well, that's how you open an egg. It's one way to open an egg. You just don't want to get any of the eggshell inside. Look, no eggshell. First try, super easy, right? That's beautiful. Throw this away. A little hand wash in action after touching all the raw ingredients again, especially the egg. All right, so my household is still asleep, so we have to do this quietly. My household is still sleeping, so I have to do this the quiet way. I'm gonna take all the ingredients and just whisk them together without using the mixer. Then just the, ooh. It doesn't have a slow pour top. So. Tiny, tiny bit. Not like the Monte Crisco tiny bit. Oops. It didn't bit that much. Oops. An actual tiny bit. We got really tired of doing that the hard way. Oh, 
All right, so we've got our batter made, and now we're ready to actually use the Mickey Mouse Waffle Maker. Now this sucker's pretty cool. It's actually going to make three different mini, mini Mickey, small Mickey waffles, maybe that's better. Make three small Mickey waffles per side. And three in there also. Pretty easy, it just rotates here. I have a little pull out switch that locks it so I can't open it now. Pull that out, now I can. Push back and now it's stuck again. And then the controls on the front, very simple. I just have an on off switcher and then I have a light and a darkness toggle. And I find right about in between the light and the dark, about 50% is where we light ours. Uh, you can do yours a trial and error and see how you do it too. So the timing on this is really great too. So I can open up the top, spray everything down, put my batter in, and then close it, flip it over, open it, spray everything down, put my batter in, close it, and flip it. And in just a couple minutes, these are gonna be done. It's gonna go beep, 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 beep on me. You know what a beep sounds like. I don't know why I gave you the sound effect. But when it beeps, I can open this up, take out all of the waffles, spray it down again, put in new batter, and as I'm closing it, it's gonna go beep, 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 beep again because the waffles on the bottom just finished. So you can flip it, open it, take out the other waffles, spray it down, put in more batter, put it down, flip it back over, and these are most of the way done. They're gonna beep again in a minute. So you get a real just factory out of this thing. It's amazing how quickly you're gonna get a huge plate full of waffles. And I'm just gonna start with a really basic spray and spray down the insides on both sides. I'm gonna spray in between each round of waffles too. Turn it on, and that light turns. It's preheated and ready to go. Once that's lit up, pancakes, pancakes, I'm not making pancakes. Once that lights up, we actually put our waffles in. Generally takes about five minutes to, uh, to go. It's also normal for this to steam up and smoke up real big. That's normal. You're not burning your house down yet. Don't freak out like I did the first time I made these. You're fine. We're just sitting here waiting for lunch. Then a little bit of fast forwarding and ding. Hooray. We're all preheated, ready to go. Slam that shut, flip it over. And I'm gonna add a little bit more milk to my mixture because it's a little bit firmer than I want it to be. About halfway through, I like to flip it over. Don't know if that actually helps. I just figure that gets it balanced, letting gravity put the waffle on the hot part of the iron. Getting down to the end of my batter, so I may not get all three of these. And for this last little bit, we're going to just let it sit open for a little while extra, just to make sure it doesn't burn anything while it's flipping and waiting. 
All right, teapots, just a couple of things to know about these. I'll put a link to the waffle maker in the description down below. These Mickey waffles are really cool, really easy to make, and incredibly detailed, as you can see. With all that detail means there's a lot of nooks and crannies inside of this iron, which means it's a real pain to clean. So just be aware of that. And the really bad part is my kids are too young for me to pan off that job to them, so I get to do it. Great job for your kids to do. <laughs> Try that. In our family, we like to make a ton of these things all at once. They freeze up real well, put them in the fridge, put them in the freezer. They will last forever and they will be absolutely amazing. But if you're not the type of person that likes to eat frozen waffles, gross. If you're not the kind of person that likes frozen waffles, there's a couple of really easy ways to reheat these. First off, easy one, throw them in the microwave, boom, you're done. Super simple. You can also put these in your toaster oven uh, if you want to, but my personal favorite, actually to plug back in your waffle a couple days later. Just put it right where it used to be, leave it on for just a minute. Toasty warm. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a lot of fun. These are tasty, amazing things. Make sure that you like, because I like these. Subscribe if you haven't already, and become a Patreon. Get some bonus videos behind the scenes and be part of our community. We would love to meet you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go out and ride the teacups with a mouthful of Mickey ear. Mm. These are really good. Right, Mickey? What are you saying? I can't hear you. I don't have an ear. It's as funny as I get, folks. Here we go.